Morning Cosmic, how are you keeping? You well? Great. Well, today's session, we're looking at prayer. Now, I know most of you probably pray every day. Do you? Well, we're going to read a verse from the Bible, which hopefully you've read with a grown-up. If not, you can read afterwards. And that talks about a challenge that we're given by Paul of how we should live our lives. And it says this. Always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Now that might seem weird because when we're talking about prayer, you think, well, why have I talked about the other things? Well, they're all linked and they're all important. You see, we can't always be happy. We spoke about our emotions the other week. But yeah, it says in this Bible verse that we should always be joyful, always give thanks. But it doesn't mean that we have to go around with a big smile on our face. What it means is that we have to remember that we've always got something to be thankful for, that God loves us and that Jesus has shown us how much he loves us and how we should live our lives. So we've always got something to be thankful for, no matter how sad or upset we are. Also, it says, never stop praying. And that's what we're looking at today about how we pray. One of the ways we can remember to be joyful about everything that we have is by being in constant conversation with God. Prayer doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be at any particular time or any particular place in any particular way. You can pray to God anytime and anywhere and any way that you want to. It's just like having a conversation with a friend. It's just like me talking to you through my phone. It's just like this. See, we can talk to God all the time. And the reason it says to pray continually, to not stop praying, is because God doesn't want us to get out of um, a practice of talking to him. If we only do it at certain times and we forget, it's very easy to not do it at all, isn't it? We all forget. But if we're talking to God all the time, then we're constantly reminded that God's there for us, that he loves us, and that he's got a plan for our lives. And that means that we'll always be able to give thanks in every circumstance. Just like we have something to be joyful for, we can give thanks to God that he's there, that we're talking to him, that we can hear from him if we're still and silent like last week, and that he has a plan for us and he's shown that. See, Jesus got this, and every time during his ministry when he did something, whether it was making somebody better, talking to crowds, he would go off, he would be still, he'd be silent like last week, but he would talk to God, he would pray. He would give thanks for what God's done. He gave thanks before he gave out the miracle of feeding the 5,000. He gave thanks when people were healed. And he always took time to tell God what he thought. Even when he was sad, when his friend died, and when he, before he died himself, he spent time praying to God and asking for God's help. Even when he was crying, he wanted to give thanks to who God was and what he was going to do. So let's follow that example this week, shall we? And see if we can spend time talking to God, not just at bedtime or in the morning, but during the day when something good happens or when something bad happens. I look forward to hearing from you, seeing your pictures. Please keep sending them in. They are fantastic. And until next time, God bless. Bye. 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 And, and no, no, that, that I am um, mm. God, 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 God,